what is the drift velocity drift velocity drift velocity now current is through the conductors current is through the semiconductors current in the conductors due to the drift of electrons current in the semiconductors due to the diffusion of electrons what is the drift velocity in a conductor what is happening before going to going to conductor let us consider a charged particle now there is a charged particle q there is a charged particle q right only one charged particle maybe electron maybe proton because we are in the current electricity maybe electron electron charge is represented by e but in this case i am taking what do you say q now whenever the charge a single charge practically it is impossible but while studying only one single charge is applied on which electric field that means a single charge is placed in the electric field as the single charge placed in electric field now no doubt this charge will experience the force f is equal to e cube what is the mass of the charged particle m according to the newton second law f is equal to m a what to say e cube right therefore a is equal to what to say e q by m right now what happens a single charge of q having the mass m is placed in the electric field it will experience a force because of the force it is accelerated accelerated means right there is an increase of speed increase of speed right because of the increase of speed its kinetic energy is also increased right now only one single charged particle q of mass m is placed in the electric field it will experience the force because of the force it has the acceleration because of its acceleration its speed is increased because of its speed increased its kinetic energy is increased that means if a charged particle of q of mass m is placed in the electric field it will travel with the increasing speed that means its speed go on increasing it is true when only one particle okay na no? right now in this case what is the behavior of the same charged particle in the conductor now let us consider this is the conductor this is the conductor conductor cross sectional area is a conductor length is l suppose that conductor is made of copper conductor is made of copper now copper ions are there two electrons copper ions two electrons copper ions two electrons now if it is a copper if it is a copper in this copper these are called what to say copper ions in addition to the copper ions there are free electrons right now these free electrons in a random motion we know i want to move in a regular motion 
to move in a regular motion to get the current to do to the regular motion a potential difference must be established in order to establish the potential difference yeah, there is a need to apply the electric field right whenever electric field is there potential difference is created how can you produce the electric field by applying the battery now across the terminals of the battery across the terminals of the battery battery is connected like this right this is the negative terminal of the battery this is the positive terminal of the battery now here because of the battery across the ends of the conductor electric field is applied from positive terminal to the negative terminal now this negative terminal repel the electrons to move in the opposite direction of electric field now these electrons are moving like this opposite to the electric field these electrons are moving opposite to the electric field right now no doubt these are the electrons are the charged particles on the charged particles electric field is applied all the electrons will experience the force all the electrons will experience the acceleration because of acceleration they go on moving with the increasing speed no doubt it is correct up to this one but what happens means while the electrons are traveling opposite to the electric field opposite to the electric field as the electron is traveling opposite to the electric field it may collide they may collide ions they may collide the ionic lattice right as they collide they will lose the energy to the ions as they lose the energy their kinetic energy is lost their kinetic energy is lost means the increase of speed is lost because of losing of kinetic energy due to the collisions those electrons are traveling with a constant speed instead of increasing speed that constant speed is called drift speed that constant speed is called drift velocity now only one charged particle is there of mass m charge q is placed in the electric field no doubt it will travel with the increasing speed here is also so many electrons are inside the conductor battery is applied every electron will experience the force because of the force every electron is accelerated every electron travels with the increasing speed but in this case those electrons are right colliding with the ionic lattice in every collision they are halted in every collision they lose the kinetic energy because of losing of kinetic energy then instead of traveling with the increasing speed they will travel with the constant speed that constant speed is called drift speed therefore what is the definition the constant speed acquired by the charged particles in the conductor when the electric field is applied is called drift speed or drift velocity now here the drift velocity is in the order of 10 to the power of 4 meters per second to 10 to the power of minus 5 meters per second therefore now in the next topic we will calculate the expression for drift velocity we will calculate the expression for drift velocity